Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great time to be a chief of police. <laughs> different in Des Moines. Okay? Now, we don't always agree on everything, but if Betty Andrews calls my cell phone, I take her call. <laughs> <laughs> but I know who Arnold Woods is, and that we have, I have his cell phone number. I know who Joe Henry is, Claudia Thrain, Joe Gonzalez, you name it, Sloan Bacom. You have to have those relationships on the front end, and you have to you have to have conversations with those groups and be at the table when things are going well, mm -hmm. not just in a time of crisis. You build those relationships, they turn into friendships. There's a, uh, there doesn't have to be 100% agreement, but there has to be mutual respect and mutual trust. That exists in Des Moines right now, and those conversations happen. You think there was a chief of police sitting at a forum in Ferguson, Missouri that looked anything like this room? Probably not. I didn't have to be here today. I had other things I could do that would have been a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Take the questions and spot. <laughs> but this is what this is why Des Moines is different. We do know each other. We will sit down at the table in good times and bad and have candid conversations. We will help each other along the way. I'm gonna ask for the community's help with recruiting, and you know what? You will respond. I know that. Because you want to make this, you want to make this community better as well. That I think is the component that makes Des Moines a little bit different. I think that's part of our mitigation plan, if you will, uh, that will prevent us from, from being the next Ferguson, Missouri. Thank you. I can explain. 